hi, it's me again. Remember yesterday we was just talking about me and about the strange things about me? Well, here's the continuation. I left off a piece yesterday. It was talking about the time when I dreamt my father was coming through the door with all these stuffed animals. There was a frog and clown and all kinds of stuff, right? I told my mother this, and guess what? You're not going to believe this. <laughs> as soon as I finish saying it, the key comes in the door, and my father comes to the door. Me and my mother just lean and look down the hall, and guess what we saw? My father coming through the door with a handful of stuffed animals, a big green frog, everything I described, he had in his hands. Okay. I have a lot of weird things about me. That's just, just the little things, you know. You know, it stems from my mom, actually. Because, see, my mom was, like, different. Like, everybody have their mom, and they say their mom is special. But my mom is real special. My mom was so special. All right, I'm going to just say this here. This is this is a true fact. Everything I'm telling you is the truth. But this is something that a lot of people probably never heard of or have heard of this. But here it is. My mom was drinking one night. Totally freaking drunk. She went to sleep with a cigarette. Mom fell asleep with a cigarette. Bed is burning. Mom is still in the bed. She went to go lean, and she could see all this bright light and heat. She opened up her eyes. It was nothing but fire. She jumped out the bed. Mind you, when the fireman came and put the fire out, the only thing that was left in that bed was my mother's imprint of her whole body that was laying in the bed. The fire burnt literally all around her. The fireman was in shock. They had never seen nothing like that before. How can a person be in a bed? Fire just burned all around her. Never burned her, but all around her. Yeah. Weird stuff like that. My mom could tell you what's going to happen to you before you go out. Like, another instance, my father and my mother was talking. And my mother said, Ronald, I had this dream that these dogs were chasing you. And they just came from nowhere. But they came from around the circle and they started chasing you. My father standing there. He laughing his heart out. He wouldn't stop. Like, this was the most funniest thing he heard. Okay. He leaves because he claimed he had a job to do. Right? So he left with his little briefcase. And we looking at him outside the window. Walking the path. Say it again. Four dogs came out of nowhere and got Started chasing my father. My father threw his case up in the air and took off running. He got upstairs. His lips were so white. His eyes were like this. He, he looked mad crazy right there. <sighs> you, you told me about the dogs. Yeah, yeah. It was funny, right? It was like, ha, 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 ha. He was laughing a minute ago. It was like, it was the most funniest thing you ever heard. But it was real. All right. My mom told some people one day, she was walking out, and they're standing out there. She went to go to the store. She looked at him. She said, it should rain on y'all. So my mother go to the store. It pours down raining. When she came out the store, the rain stopped. Them two ladies hold bus. They said, oh, shit, she's a witch. And they hold ass. They left. They didn't even want to mess with her. Um, that, that frightened the heck out of them. Because they had never seen nothing like, it should rain on you. What's the chances of that? All right, it's a lot of things my mom was able to do, so for me to tell you about me will be more explanatory now to understand why I see me have these things as some people call a gift. I would like for somebody out there to actually explain what is up with me. How can I do these things? How can I say, all right, I'll tell you something else that's really weird about me. It's a lot, but we're going we to be doing this on a lot of sessions, so don't even worry about it. I will be back. Listen. This is the most craziest thing. All right. Let me say it like this here. Let me just put all, all of it out there. It was a point in my life that I was like, a lot of, a lot of things was happening. We're not going to elaborate on the things that has happened like that. We're just going to elaborate on the psychic part of the things that have happened. Well, one day... I was down and out. My, my rent was due and I was behind and I didn't want to go to no welfare because I told welfare to kiss my ass. I didn't want no more help from them. I was willing to do whatever it takes. So I called this lady 
His name is Fran. I said, Miss Fran, I need a job, right? So the reason why I got the job that I did is because it was a hot summer day. She needed signatures. I rolled all over. When nobody else wanted to do the work, I did. I came back with 60 signatures. Woof, me, by myself. All right, boom. I did what I had to do, right? So when I asked for this job, I never knew there was a job called an assistant trainer. The voice told me, say, you want the job as assistant trainer. I said, what's an assistant trainer? He said, just say it. And that's what I said to Miss Rand. I said, I want to be an assistant trainer. She said that what blew my mind was she said to me, she said, um, I don't know if I'm able to get that job for you this year, but maybe next year. And then after that, she hung up the phone and I'm, I'm standing in my kitchen. And all of a sudden I hear this loud voice that I got you. And I said, okay, I'm, I'm going crazy. I'm really, I'm losing my mind. Cause this is like, now it's getting loud. It, it, it's screaming at me to my, it got me. Okay. Two days later, the same lady calls me back. She says, come on in, put on your best clothes. You have a job interview. I went, I took the class, I passed the class. And guess what? I became an assistant trainer. Um, I worked for the Board of Elections since I was 18, but as I got older, I, my first job was working with a lady named Lorita Williams, who was Mr. Um, Black Pearl's daughter, and she was running for city council. So before I left New York City, I actually ran for city council woman too, yeah. Mind you know, Veronica Thompson, if you don't believe me, you can look it up. 2013, you'll see me, Veronica Thompson. My name is there. I didn't, I didn't put up no picture, but if you look hard enough on the internet for me, you'll see that I did put stuff up. And I was trying to change my community. But nobody wanted to hear that. They wanted people who don't do the job. But back to the futuristic stuff. Not some, I'm not I'm not hatred. I don't care. I'm happy for them. Because they got what they wanted. They got it somebody who didn't want to work. But got paid nice money. Hey, they used to it. Good. I'm happy. God bless them. I don't no longer live there anymore. Um, may that maybe down the way I might go back into politics. But right now, I'm into just explaining this weird things that's going on with me. Now, for one, I could I could feel certain things at certain times, like like I could feel. Sadness. Sometimes it sounds crazy. Just it, it just I just sound crazy. Sometimes I hear like a multiple. One time I heard a multiple voices, like as if these people were all praying at the same exact time, and they all was talking. And I was able to like like it was a telephone line, and I was able to pick up the the, the information because I was hearing millions and millions of people praying at the same time. And they all was praying. And I don't know how I did that. I don't know what happened. How did I get there? But whatever, whatever. Um, it's like, all right, for instance, I told a friend of mine. He was a good friend, but he was really mean to me. He was really like, I don't even know why I put up with it, but I needed to because in order to deal with life itself on this step, it works really good because now I could do what I need to do. Stop over Right? So, I'm just having fun, you know, just chilling out and having my life change. Um, I gotta stop.